When it comes down to it, the Hunger Games series is a story about death. I made a video going over every death in the series, and it rounded out to a whopping 128 characters. In this video though, I'm going to narrow those 128 deaths down to the 10 most brutal. Before we start, there are going to be spoilers for the four Hunger Games books, so the original trilogy and the prequel, so you have been warned. Now, let's get the video started. Mags Mags died from the fog in the third quarter quell. We saw how painful the fog was when it hit Katniss, Peeta, and Finnick, and they only got it in small doses. <laughs> Mags hit the fog head on, and her entire body was affected, not just small parts like the others. The effects of the fog include painful scabs and boils, convulsions, and make your skin waste away as a result of the degeneration of cells. Katniss saw this when the fog hit half of Peta's face, and it made the muscles on that side collapse, shudder, and die. So it's safe to say, it was a pretty painful death for Mags. Portia Portia's death wasn't as painful as some of the others on this list, but it was so much worse in other ways, as she was humiliated. Snow had her killed on live TV, which the entire country was forced to watch. She was killed by a firing squad, and it was implied that Snow made them take non-fatal shots at first to make her death slow and painful. The District 1 girl from the 50th Hunger Games. She doesn't have a name, but she has a very brutal death. She was in the final two alongside Haymitch, and what makes her death so bad is what led up to it. She ended up losing an eye, and even while sustaining this injury, she ran up a huge cliff. At this point, she was in agony. Then, when she thought she was about to win, the axe she had thrown bounced off the force field and bounced back, landing in her head. And we know she didn't die instantly, because it took a while for the cannon signaling her death to go off, so she had to deal with the pain of losing an eye and the pain of having an axe lodged in her head. Cinna. Cinna was slowly tortured and brutalized. He was first ambushed by peacekeepers, and in the book, they used spike gloves to hit him, the first blow being taken on his temple. They then took him away and tortured him for days on end, and knowing Snow's methods, this was a brutal few days. Cinna refused to give anything about the rebellion up though, so they finally killed him. Glimmer. Glimmer was killed by Tracker Jackers, courtesy of Katniss. As she was overwhelmed by them, she screamed hysterically for help, but none of her allies came back to help her. Because of the many stings, Glimmer soon collapsed and began twitching and moaning. Unfortunately, it was not a quick death, and for several minutes after collapsing, her heart kept beating and she fell into a coma. And let's not forget the terrible hallucinations these bites give you. So not only was she in agony physically, but she was tripping very heavily mentally as well. Masala. Masala was part of the team in Mockingjay. While running from the lizard muds, he hit a pod that would ultimately kill him. Before it did though, he was in for an awful experience, as the pod trapped him in a wide shaft of golden light, which made him freeze. Then, unable to move, the light made the flesh melt off his body like candle wax. Bobbin. Bobbin was a character from the prequel novel The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. He was actually the first murder victim of Coriolanus Snow. This was by far the most brutal murder Snow ever committed though. When Bobbin jumped out and attacked him with a knife, Snow seized a wooden board and beat Bobbin so violently that the surrounding area was covered in blood. One of Bobbin's eyes was dislodged, and his face was so swollen and bruised that he was unrecognizable. Finnick During their mission in Mockingjay, Finnick was unable to escape the lizard mutts. They pulled him down before he got up the ladder, and they ripped him apart. Unfortunately for him though, the mutts didn't kill him. They just bit chunks out of Finnick's body, and Finnick screamed out in agony. <laughs> Only when Katniss dropped a bomb down below did Finnick die, Katniss taking him out of his misery. Kato Kato has a similar death to Finnick's, but I think it's slightly more brutal. When Katniss shot an arrow at him, he fell over the edge of the cornucopia, and like Finnick, he was overtaken by the mutts below. These mutts were much worse though, because they were made out of the dead tributes, including many of Kato's former allies and the girl he was very close with, Clove. He could tell who was who, as they each had a collar with their district number, and they had the eyes of the fallen tribute. At first, Kato fought them off, but eventually he became disabled by the mutts. For what seemed like hours, he yelled as he was torn apart. 
When the night shift to dawn, Katniss could not take Kato's moans of despair anymore. She looked over and saw a bloodied Kato, who mouthed the word, please. And out of pity, Katniss put an arrow to his head to take him out of his misery, just like she did for Finnick. And finally, Darius. Darius was a peacekeeper who worked in District 12, but when he tried to intervene in Gale's whipping, he was punished. First, he was made an AVOX, meaning they cut his tongue out so he couldn't talk anymore. Then, after the ending of the second quarter quell, he was taken captive and tortured in front of PETA. It took days to finish him off. They beat him, cut off body parts, electrocuted him, and kept asking him questions. But because he was an AVOX with no tongue, he obviously couldn't talk or answer even if he wanted to. Peter said he just made these horrible animal sounds, trying so desperately to get them to stop. After days of this, the torturing became too much, and his body finally gave out. Peter later said that the Capitol did not even want information out of him. The reason they did it was simply to make PETA watch as they killed him very, very slowly in the most painful way. I think it's no question that Darius has the most brutal death in the series. Let me know in the comments below your ranking of the most brutal deaths in the series, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. You can follow me on Instagram to see more of my personal life like my cute dog Loki and some behind the scenes movie flame stuff. I also do similar content on TikTok and Twitter that I do here on this channel, so if you like what I do here, check them out. All the handles are right below me and links are in the description. Over here are my wonderful patrons. If you want to be featured on the next video plus get a few other perks, become a patron today. As always, if you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe and look out for more great movie flame videos on the way.